Hey everybody, it's Sarah with the York County Library. Welcome to day 23 of the Daily Drawing Challenge. We are really, really close to the last day, which will be day 29. Today, we are going to be doing a drawing of sunglasses, and we're following a drawing challenge that is on Creative Bug. Creative Bug is a free online learning service that focuses on tutorials for arts and crafts. So that sounds interesting to you. It is free to all York County Library card holders. There are links in the description below that take you directly to our online learning page where you can find our other online learning services along with Creative Bug. And there's also some information on how to get a card. We're offering a temporary e-card right now, so if you don't have a library card with us and you're interested in our online learning and digital services, check out the links in the description below. If you want to follow along with me, the specific challenge that I'm following is called 29 Things to Draw with Molly Hatch and Heather Ross. And today is day 23, and we're going to be drawing sunglasses. Now, I wasn't able to find sunglasses, but I do usually wear glasses. I'm not wearing them now because I just need them to see things far away. And so I do have these little, I wouldn't call them inserts. They're the little frames, sunglass frames that you put on top of your regular glasses. So I'm going to be drawing my glasses with those on. Um, so if you have glasses around, try those. If you don't, I don't know. Get creative. Now's a good time. <laughs> or find someone else who has glasses and ask if you can kindly use them. <laughs> or use sunglasses if you have them. So without further ado, let's get into day 23 and draw some shades. Okay, so we are at day 23. We are going to be drawing sunglasses. Now, like I said, I don't have sunglasses. I have regular glasses and these inserts or things you put over them so that they can be sunglasses. I have it propped up on a weight so that I can draw it. Roughing out the general shape of the frames. And where the other parts are going to lay in relation to them. I found this drawing challenge for today to be particularly challenging because I was trying to find the right way to draw it so that it made sense how everything fit together, but I didn't want to focus too much on perspective. I was just trying to trust what I saw and I was having a little difficulty with it, so you'll see some erasing. Also decided I would complete this angle, this drawing of this angle with the glasses, but that I would try a different angle with it and see if I could get by a little easier with that. At this point I was kind of wishing that I had, a, I had drawn it a little bigger. I was using the small eraser on the mechanical pencil to attempt to clean up some of the lines in the thinner places between the metal frames and the actual glasses. All right, so I redrew this side entirely to kind of match what I was seeing more. And I also made sure to draw what you could see through the glasses, but since they are tinted frames, I knew I had to kind of color them in at some point. So. I decided to stick with a mechanical pencil and make a lighter shade. So then I took my glasses and put them in a different angle. And you may spy with your little eye in the bottom left corner someone's reflection. <laughs> so I found this angle to be more manageable. I didn't have this figure that was just kind of expanded in the space. It was folded in on itself and a little easier to draw. This time I decided to just make the frame of the glasses very dark. 
and then the shaded parts of the tinted lenses lighter. More to show that it's a reflective surface. There you go. So as always, I like to go one step further and I really enjoy doodling with the pen. So I just decided to quickly doodle some sunglasses of different types. So you have some standard frames and some heart frames. <laughs> Some classic round frames, some square frames with a little face. Then I went for a flowery one. Tried triangles, but then I was like, I don't know. Will that work? Hmm. Put some eyes in there. I got your classic cool shades like my son is wearing at the top. Some round frames from the front, and I decided to use the outline of some scissors to draw some, and once I drew it, it reminded me of those really big uh, sunglasses that people wear for like New Year's. I think it's a little bit more popular in the early 2000s, because you had those convenient double O's. So then I decided to trace other objects. I had a dime and a penny, so I traced those. And it kind of gave the effect that one lens was a little further down or tilted because the dime was smaller. And with these, I got something I really liked, so I decided to put some color into it. So I made some very vivid red glasses. If you do this, draw random sunglasses. Maybe think of a particular character you have in mind, or think about who would wear these glasses. Putting in some final touches, and I decided to use the blue to make some blue frames, which reminded me of some I used to have. And there we go. Shades of all shapes for all kinds. Alright, signing off. Hey. And that's 23 days of drawing done. <laughs> Did you have fun today? I have to admit, that was really challenging for me. I didn't draw I did enjoy the doodles afterwards, but it was a little frustrating trying to get those frames in. I might have had an easier time if I drew them a little bigger. Um, might have been better to work on a bigger sheet of paper, but that's a lesson for next time for me. These challenges are really good for letting you learn about you and your particular strengths and weaknesses and how you do the best job you can with what you got. So uh, are you learning anything about yourself as an artist or as a person? Uh, if you feel like sharing, you can share those comments, share that in the comments down below. But we have day 24 tomorrow, which is going to be an interesting one. I'm excited about it. We're going to be talking about positive and negative space in the terms of drawing. So I hope to see you tomorrow. But until then, stay safe and stay creative, York County.